So I'm glad to say that 10 millimeter is making a comeback because I bought this gun. They made them, this is a Smith & Wesson 1006. They made it from I think 1990 to 1995. And I had to buy it whew, around in 95. I was a kid, man. My dad bought it for me. And I worked, I <laughs> cut grass all summer and stuff for it. But <clears throat> 10 millimeters making a comeback. This is the Glock. I wanted to compare like a, a full metal handgun versus a polymer handgun. Like the pros and cons, and it is about the downpour rain. I was gonna put paper up here. Uh, I think I'm just, I, I didn't have any more paper targets. Couldn't find it anyway. So I'm <laughs> gonna go over these real quick, pros and cons, and then probably head up to the Redneck range. And I'll put my steel up there, cause it's a lot longer too. So we'll stretch these handguns out and kind of see which one shoots better. So let's just get into pros and cons real quick. So we're going to go over, I guess, the, the pros of the metal one first because I love metal handguns. They, uh, the balance of them, so much better. Like, this is a single stack 10 millimeter. So the grip is a little thin. Doesn't really fit my hand, but the length, uh, the height, and everything, it uh, fits really good. And the metal, obviously, it's just, you can just lift the fuck out of somebody if need be, you know? <laughs> Hopefully you don't have to, but if you need to. And then the cons, it's heavy. It's two pounds, ten ounces, I do believe. Which, mama didn't raise no bitch here, so I don't worry about that. I used to every day carry a 500 magnum just because really that's the only con uh it's just the weight but the balance they like compared to the glock this is a g40 gen 4 this has a four and a half pound trigger which is a really nice trigger on it and i just totally forgot how much it does weigh but honestly i want to say this is heavier i mean a glock You can see how much wider the Glock is. I mean, compared to this, more like a 1911 style. And like I said, with the, this, it's kind of a bad example because this has a six inch barrel and that's a five inch barrel. So you got a lot, you got a lot of meat there. But even with a regular one, like I usually, I every day carry a SIG 320. And I just don't like you have a lot of top weight here, and it just doesn't feel balanced. Uh, the pros are lighter, obviously, and this is this is double stack, so this holds 15 plus one, 16 rounds of 10 millimeter, and it being a little girthier there, it fits my hand really good. So we'll just get it out to redneck range if it don't pour down rain. And we'll step them out. <laughs> we'll step them out and uh, we'll see what they can do. We'll be using six hour ammo today to uh, keep everything equal, I guess. So let's get out of the rain, get set up. I'm gonna go over like the smoothness, see which one's a little smoother. So let me just take a get in this angle here. here. Like that's pretty smooth. And then you get the metal one. The 1006. I mean, this has a lot stiffer of a recoil spring. I don't know. I'm not a big Glock fanboy, but they do make some smooth guns. I mean, you got to give them credit. Yeah, I'm going to try to hurry up and get uh, done before the next rainstorm comes. I got my target, my steel turkey set up down there it's by my buddy John from LA211. So check him out. Uh, it was funny. I thought I thought well, I was shooting earlier, testing out, and uh, it was raining. And I thought after I shot something wrong with my headset, because it was buzzing. I'm like, man, it sounds like angry freaking bees everywhere. And then I turned my headphone off. I shot again. I'm like the table was buzzing over there. Yeah, <laughs> there's a whole swarm of bees in the table over there. All right, so we got a mag in each one here, and that's literally that's by about 50 yards. I forget how far that is. It's about 50 yards. 
and we're just gonna do a mag and see how she shoots. My fault, we shot a little high there. A little bit low. I mean, it's hitting consistent. It's just I haven't shot this gun in so long. It's consistently hitting right above it. And then when I try to compensate, <laughs> I'm shooting too low. I'll get her. I was hitting it earlier too, and it's sitting on wood there, so you can't really hear the ting when it does hit. It's my excuse anyway. There's a full mag. I think I was just drilling constantly right above it. And every time I try to compensate a little bit, I shoot a little bit too low. That's just my fault with this gun. I have not shot this gun that much. But, I mean, very consistent. Like, that's impressive how good that thing was shooting there. Like, I mean, it was really consistent. So, let's try the Smith & Wesson here. Okay, so next up, we're going to try the Smith & Wesson 1006. It's, uh, it only has nine rounds. I'm going to get my excuses out of the way. I have not shot this gun in quite some time. I can always tell, like, the trigger has a lot of slack compared to the Glock. Like, a lot of slack. Like, I even flinch there so much. Wow. Okay. There we go. That one hit. That my fault. Pulled high. Hitting high or low? I'm gonna try it pulling it low. Okay, that was low there. Yeah, it was shooting a little bit low. It was very consistent too. I'll tell you what, the Glock has a way better trigger, man. Like this is light. It's a light trigger, but like look at that that travel, man. That's impressive there. And once you get there. Oh, mag's not in. Okay. I was like, so once you get there, that's pretty light. Probably about the same as the Glock. Not sure. There we go. Okay. Uh, I don't know. That Glock has a light trigger. Yeah, so it turns out I was hitting it. So all these are all fresh. Uh, these ones aren't. So... It was sitting on that wood back there and you could not hear it. So I got a little closer and my buddy John, like I said, from Alloy 211 made this for me. Check him out. Very cool dude. Flip it around here and then we'll just try. I'm pretty close. That's 25 yards maybe. So. All right, so I got maybe 25 yards. And uh, like I said before, you couldn't hear the wood. It's on a tire, I don't know. We'll start with a Smith & Wesson first. I want to really enjoy that trigger on that Glock. That was low. So this gun seems to shoot lower, and then a Glock seems to shoot higher. Yeah, she definitely shoot low, for sure. Now, come on, bro. 10 millimeter life. Okay, let's sit back up. I only got like five rounds in. So as I said, you gotta really know your gun. They all shoot a little different. It's a Glock G40. <laughs> I love this gun, man. <laughs> you said this one shoots a little bit higher. I pulled that one. I'm gonna try this little plate right here. <laughs> Close. All right, well, there you got it, man. Plastic versus steel. And this is an older gun. This is a newer one. I tell you what, man. I think the Glock just shoots better. It does. Like, I really, I enjoyed shooting this thing. Uh, this one shoots good. 
Very, they're both about the same accuracy, probably. This one might be a little better. Recoil. I would say this has a little bit more recoil. This one seems more manageable, for sure. And once you get the hang of the trigger, it ain't as good as this, but there it is. Uh, get out and enjoy some shooting, especially with some 10 millimeters. And we'll, uh, if you want to see me do some more blasts and some 10 millimeters, I'll do all kinds of that. Check me out. Let me know. All right, thanks, guys.